Today, I'm gonna to be showing you guys how you can grow a beautiful tray of dandelion microgreens just like this. So stay tuned for the full walkthrough. What's up everyone? Today we are in the grow space because we are doing another full walkthrough, but today is going to be for red dandelion. Now this is a new one that we've been growing in our grow space and it's really fun. So today I wanted to show you guys how we like to grow it. So the first thing we need to go over is what do we need? Obviously seed is one of them because I just showed you guys, but we also need to make sure we have our trays. So here in front of me, I have three trays, starting with our bottom no hold 1020 tray, and then next a slotted 1020 tray. You can also use a mesh tray if you prefer to, or if that's all you have, or you can even use a single tray if you want. It's just a little bit harder sometimes. So today we're gonna to be using this method and then, oh, almost forgot my final tray. My final tray is another 1020 no hold tray. And I like to use a darker tray such as a black tray because this is going to be used later for blackout, which we don't want any of that light passing through it. So let's set this one out of our way. So the next thing we need to do is get our grow medium into our tray. For today's grow, I am gonna be using coco coir because it is one of our favorite grow mediums. So for this tray here, we're going to be using six cups of this coco coir. So let's go ahead and start measuring that out. So now that I have my six cups of coco coir into my tray here, I need to even this out across the tray. Now this is gonna be the same thing you would do if you were using a soil, and also be sure to check and make sure if there's any giant twigs or big clumps, anything like that, just break them down and remove any of the twigs. So now that I have my grow medium ready, it is time for us to measure out our seed. For that today, I am using a scale. You don't need a scale if you want. You can just go off of what I'm suggesting here for the tablespoon, because we are gonna be using just a tablespoon for this today. So we got our one tablespoon, and that is roughly 7.3 grams, which is, that's perfect. We don't use any more than that because this is a tinier seed. It's gonna fill out this tray a lot more than some of the other ones. And now let's just start seeding our tray. So now that our tray is all seeded, we need to water it. For that, I'm gonna be using just a little pump sprayer, sprayer <laughs> pump sprayer that we have back here, which makes it really easy. And I'm gonna start far away since my medium is a little dry and these are smaller seed. And now we're gonna come a little bit closer and just give it a quick light pass. So now my final step is to take that single 1020 tray, place it on top of the seeds and we're gonna be using 15 pounds today um, on top of this, because I did find that using more weight with this crop did give me better results. So we're gonna go with the big boy today, <laughs> and this is gonna be our final step while we put it onto our shelf. From this point forward, all I'm going to do is I'm gonna come out twice a day, double check this, water it if it does need more water, and here in a few days, we should see this start to germinate, and I will give you guys an update the moment we move on to the next step. So I'll see you then. Today is day three of our dandelion grow and they have just been sitting on this shelf germinating underneath this beautiful brick here. So what we're going to do is we're going to remove this carefully and we're gonna take a look at it and see what's going on. Yeah, so it looks like all these are germinating. They look really happy. And I gotta look a little closer because they are pretty small. A lot of the seed holes have begun coming off. So what I want to do today is I want to move these into blackouts so that way they start to stretch up and with this crop, it does stay um, rather short. So I'm gonna probably do a little bit longer of a blackout, maybe two to three days. We'll kind of make a decision and check on that each day. But for now, what I need to do is give this a light watering. I'm just gonna double check one more thing. I doubt the roots are peeking through. Yeah, no, or we got a singular root. <laughs> I'm gonna give that one a little bit of water. That way they don't dry out. Okay. So now I need to take this tray that was on top of it for the weight, wipe it off so that way I don't get my shelves all messy. We're gonna take it from being like this and flipping it over into a dome. And now we're just gonna place this onto our shelf in the dark. And this is just gonna do its thing for the next two to three days. I'm gonna pay attention to how long I wanna do that for. And I'll give you guys an update whenever they come out of the blackout. So I'll see you guys then. Today is day five of our dandelion grow and I'm gonna go ahead and pull this off the shelf so that way we can see what is going on underneath this blackout dome here. 
So it looks like everything is standing up nice and tall. This is exactly what I want to see for Dandelion. And this has been in blackout for two full days. And I think that is a perfect amount of time. I'm not going to go any longer because I feel if I do that, they're just going to end up falling over. And we don't want crops that fall over. So this is perfect for us today. So whenever I take a closer look at this, I am noticing a couple little tiny spots of mold. And that's okay. It's been in blackout in a humid area. That tends to happen with humidity. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to lightly spot treat this with um, some hydrogen peroxide spray only on the areas where I see big spots of mold and that should be good. doesn't look too bad there. So now that these are out of blackout, what I need to do is I need to place them on to a shelf with some light. Now we have three of these Barina 20 watt lights here. We have an entire rack dedicated to these because they are awesome. They give us phenomenal growth and they are a cheaper cost than some of the other grow lights, which we personally love. So <laughs> now that these are underneath the lights, that means it is time to start bottom watering. For that, I am gonna be using a different nutrient than what you guys generally see us. Usually you see us use uh, Ocean Solution, but today I'm going to be using Farmer's Pride. The reason being is because we have a bunch of nutrients mixed up right now for a different experiment that CJ is doing, and I don't have another bucket. So <laughs> let's go ahead and get some bottom water. So to start these guys off, I'm only going to be giving them two thirds cup of water for this grow or for this time being. Later today, I'm going to come out and give them some more bottom water, and our grow medium is already pretty moist, so I don't want to overwater them. And I'm going to kind of knock that back a little bit, make sure everyone gets some of that nutrient. Okay, so I am done with this this morning. I'm going to come out back or come out back. <laughs> I'm going to come out again later today. I'm going to double check them. If they need another bit of water, I'm going to give them a little bit more water then. But I don't believe I'm going to be doing that since it is rather moist. So I'll see you guys here in a few days and we will do another checkup and see where they are at. Day seven, dandelion. Today is day 10 for our dandelion and these are looking fantastic. This entire tray is nice and full and we are seeing that true leaf beginning to develop quite a bit on every single one of these, but we still want them to get a little bit bigger. So it's gonna be a few more days until um, we do the next update here. So I will see you guys then. Today is day 12 of our dand dandelion grow. <laughs> I was gonna say red at the same time, <laughs> restart. Today is day 12 of our dandelion microgreen grow, and it is definitely time for harvest. Now, if you want to take a look at this tray here in front of me, you might be noticing, hey Mandy, why are you allowing this to go to true leaf? Well, with dandelion, you do want that true leaf on it because it gives it more of a defined look. It looks a little bit more like a little miniature dandelion. And this is basically borderlining that kind of in between microgreens and baby green territory. If I were to let this grow a little bit longer, it would definitely be more of a baby green than a microgreen. But today we are harvesting it when it's still at the microgreen stage. So now what I need to do is actually harvest this tray with you guys. So to do that, I'm going to be using a sharp knife just like this one. If you're curious about this one, this is one of our favorite knives that you can find on our Amazon storefront. It comes very, very sharp, so be careful. So this is a shorter crop, so be careful of your fingers. Do not get them in the way, way of the blade. And just very delicately, delicately, <laughs> that's not even a word, delicately pull them and try to harvest a tiny bit higher up. There we go. And we got our first little harvest of red dandelion. So you can see why it's called red dandelion. And that's because of that beautiful red stem that you get halfway up the stem, which makes it very beautiful. Now I'm just going to slowly start diving into this corner. Usually with shorter, with shorter crops, it's a little bit harder at first, but once you get a corner going, you're good. <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm having a hard time talking right now. I think it's because CJ right now is wearing a space suit. All right. Oh, these look so good. So if you grab any areas where you get a little bit of that dirt, just make sure you pinch that off so you don't mix it in. So I just realized that my scale is off. Whoops, the daisy. So I need to do something real quick. I'm just gonna pull my bag up we're going to turn the scale on and then I'm going to place that in there. So I know that this bag weighs about three grams. So I'm just going to deduct that three grams from my overall harvest weight at the end of this. We 
got about 79-ish grams from this because remember this bag is about three grams here. So that's really good for our dandelion since it is such a tiny crop. It stays very, very short and cute. So that is perfect for me today. I'm very happy with how this grow turned out on that. So now it's time to give this a taste test, which I have been waiting for. I just want to show you guys how pretty is that? Starting to get a little spikiness that uh, dandelions get on their leaves. I got two. <laughs> so for me, that tastes compar comparable, comparable, <laughs> comparable bear. <laughs> it tastes comparable to say a lettuce or a nice leafy green. Um, it's very, uh, it's kind of similar to how fenugreek tastes, but without that caramely taste to it. So I really like that. It's gonna be great to add into salads. It's a nice little extra touch to them. So I'm excited to use this later today because we got lunch here and like, I'm not wearing a watch. I don't know why I do that all the time, but here in like an hour or 30 minutes, depending on how long we're out here. <laughs> okay, so that is it really. We've gone over the flavor, we've gone over harvesting, and I have now shown you guys how to grow dandelion all the way from seed to harvest. Now, is there anything that I would have changed about this grow? Absolutely not. I think that this grow turned out perfect. I'm happy with the um, the way it looked, with the height, the flavor, everything was great. So that's about it for today, I believe. I hope that you guys really enjoy growing your own dandelion at home. And if you have any recipes or anything that you wanna share with us that you use them in, please let me know in the comment section down below. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you dislike it, give it a thumbs down. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them in the comment section below. We have a Facebook and an Instagram. They're both at On The Grow Farms. And we have a website that's www.onthegrow.net. And if you're curious about how to grow microgreens, even more so than what I showed you today, we have a book that is available as a paperback, a hard cover and an ebook now and that is becoming a microgreen master which you can find on our website and on amazon so stay tuned for the next video and keep on believing <laughs>